Everybody knows about Pompeii being destroyed by Vesuvius in 79 AD, but Herculaneum, which is based in Ercolano, just outside of Naples, is far more interesting. It's better preserved and much smaller, but uh, reveals many more secrets than Pompeii. And I would thoroughly recommend that you do not go to Pompeii, but you do check out Herculaneum. Alright, this is Herculeum. It's literally five minutes walk from my hostel. So I'm going to go down to explore today. While Pompeii was crushed under falling volcanic debris and red hot cinders, Herculaneum was filled from the bottom up by ash and pumice carried on a torrent of ground hugging, superheated gas. Roofs did not cave in and the city was simply inundated by a flood that covered to an average depth of 20 meters. This semi-liquid muck cooled and hardened to encase and protect balconies, furniture, food on the tables, and even glass window panes and wax writing tables. These steps take us down to the ancient shoreline. Well, here we are in Herculeum, the old shoreline, this is where the beach came. Three hundred people fled to these areas where they knew that they would be safe from the volcano eruption but sadly they weren't and then when the mudslide happened there was no escape from these poor people and 300 perished This feels a very serene place after what actually happened with the mudslide killing so many people here. And now it's more of a natural area as the poor souls can lay in peace. walls are as decorative as they probably can be. Some plaster work. I love the design of the brickwork, it's really lovely. I'm not sure what these spaces were. I love the way the, the bricks are put in as a diamond rather than conventional horizontally. Uh, some frescoes that still exist. This looks like a column formed of brickwork and then plastered. In this area, which I think is a former church, it's decorated on the walls. And there's this is a rather lovely fresco.
the detail is superb. It's like tiny tiles. Really wonderful. Peaceful place to come to. 